Hello, this video is about um, how I built the Arco Linux and the Arco Linux D ISO. So it's an insight, it's a backend video of uh, how I get the ISO ready. And everybody who's making an ISO is doing the same thing in Arch, that is. So we have packages, if we go and check, we have packages that are coming from the arch repos and that's okay they get into packages both and uh, the last update will get on the iso there's no issue there these guys are ours i mean nothing can go wrong if they are ours so we've updated them so they are always up to date we only have to check if they're on there but this one the aur is something specific that's um, a package we've built and that's on our ISO, on our GitHub ISO. Let's go to the GitHub. Because we are learning you to build your own ISO, remember? And here we have this Arco Linux ISO. And this is the repo to get stuff on the ISO. So in here, we tell pacman.com that when we build, and only when we build an ISO, that here are all our packages. Now this package is 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 uh, static. It's it's not dynamic. It's not moving in time. It's me creating a package two months ago. Now if nothing happens and NeoFetch stays the same, then it's cool. Then we have the latest version. But if it's not, I have to do something. So that's just what's happening now with one of them. I thought, hey, let's make a video for the guys who are already in phase six who want to make their own. ISO and all that, you need to, I need to update Inksy for Arco Linux D for the 1st of May 2018. So there seems to be a new version. So every time we build an ISO every month, I have to go and check, hey, what changed? So you go to the Air AUR packages, Arch is something okay, probably yeah, we get here. We get in the wrong website. This one is better. So here are all, if you click on this one here, then you're really sure here you are on AUR. And we're talking about Inksy. And remember the Arch user repository is a recipe. It's only recipes. And this is what they call technically a recipe, a package build. So this thing is in version 30303. 30, no, 3003. What do I have? 2910. So when I build my ISO, Arco Linux D, the first thing I do is update everything, and it says, hey, Inksy needs to be updated. So on my ISO, I have this version, and when you run your updating command, it says, Inksy, there's a newer version on AUR for Inksy. So compile it, make it, because it's from AUR, so it's going to download this and build everything. So if you don't want the users to, uh, well, to force them to update immediately after installation, you provide the latest Inksy, and then there is no issue. So how do I do that? We download the snapshot, and that's that. We don't need any more web page. Then you go to the downloads. We can leave this one. Right mouse click, extract here. In C, this is the package build. Control C. Everything is ready in the Arco Linux package build. Nope, in the Arco Linux third party. This is third party. This is not us. This is a developer who made In C. And here it is. Control V. Replace. So we have now the newer version, 3003. Fine, that's in here. And I have this little build, of course, you know me. I made a little script that says we are going to um, shroot because I also use a way to build it in a clean environment, which is make shroot package. You can check out that. And I'm going to sign the package later on and then move everything to where it uh, needs to go, to the repo ISO. 
and making packages builds a lot of file makes a lot of a lot of files but at the end i want to clean everything up again so this is cleaning everything that i shouldn't have anymore out of there so my github is clean that's in general terms what's going to happen so i am building version the new version of inkc he wants me to install new stuff in the shroot i say okay and now he's downloading Inksy. Things are happening here to the left. But before we even can say anything, it's gonna sign the package, move the package, delete whatever is not necessary, and have again two files. So I have updated my Arch Linux package build third party. So I'm gonna update the GitHub later. And it's now moved in here. No, not in here. In here. That's the correct yeah that's the correct one so inksy 2.9 is in here but there is also inksy 3.0 in here so next time well when i build my article linux d 6.71 for the first of may it will include the latest inksy because pacman is looking at this repo and it says oh there's this one and there's that one so i'm gonna take the last version he looks at the, at the numbers until he sees here the letters. So he says this one is the last and I'll install that one on the INC, on the ISO. And when you update your ISO, then at this point in time, of course, and this point in time is, it will be, uh, there will be no need to update. But you know what happens if it's a software developer is going to update on the 30th of April. We released on the 1st of May. Yeah, then you have to update the AUR. We cannot help that. That's our, you know, it's a software of the maintainer of INC that uh, decides when he updates it. So, okay, I, it can be very technical, but I'm told now, um, this is only for the guys in phase six, building your own ISO. This is one step, one small step in uh, what I do and in the backend to provide you guys with a ISO. All right, cheers.